One of the main benefits of 3D digital prototyping is the ability to view your model in different ways. To help you visualize how your finished product will look, Inventor has numerous options for viewing your models. On the ribbon, select the View tab. The Appearance panel contains the viewing commands. Hover the cursor over the Visual Style button, and the tooltip shows you that the current visual style is shaded. This is the default visual style. The appearance of model faces and edges in the window is controlled by the visual style. Shadows provide more realism when viewing models because they enhance subtle form details and they provide a sense of orientation when ground shadows are used. On the ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, the little red X beside the shadows command denotes that the shadows are turned off. Now click Shadows. The little red X disappears from the command, and in the window, object and ground shadows are present. Click Shadows again, and the shadows disappear. Ground reflections provide a sense of depth and dimension to the model. Ground reflections also reveal features that are hidden from the current camera view. Again, in the Appearance panel, the little red X beside the command denotes that reflections are turned off. Click Reflections. The little red X disappears from the command, and now you can see the reflection of the model in the window. Click the Reflections command again to turn off the reflections. Lighting styles change the lighting effects in the model. They interact with color styles to control the model's perceived colors. To access them, on the ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, click Two Lights to expand the drop-down. Two methods are available depending on your presentation needs. One is lighting style that uses up to four lights to enhance your model. The second is image-based lighting, or IBL, that places your model in a realistic-looking environment, such as a room or outdoor setting. Camera mode is either orthographic or perspective. Orthographic, as displayed by the command, is the active camera mode. Orthographic camera mode displays the model so that all points project along parallel lines. All same length parallel edges display the same length, even when one edge is closer to the viewer than another. Use orthographic camera mode to visually confirm or compare objects. Orthographic mode is the traditional modeling mode. Perspective camera mode displays the model in three-point perspective. On the ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, click Orthographic, then select Perspective from the drop-down menu. Three-point perspective is a visual effect where parallel lines converge to a vanishing point. The human eye or camera perceives objects from a three-point perspective. Press and hold the control key and shift key while scrolling the mouse wheel to skew the perspective view. Use perspective camera mode to provide a sense of how the model would appear to the human eye. Perspective is a traditional presentation mode, otherwise known as inventor studio mode. Change the camera back to orthographic. The ground plane is used to represent an up direction in the model space and provides a visual cue of the model scale. The little red X beside the command denotes that the ground plane is turned off. On the ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, click Ground Plane. The little red X disappears from the command and in the window, the ground plane is displayed as a grid. Click the ground plane command again to turn it off. Section views permit hidden or obscured assembly components to be visualized. Work planes are an easy means of sectioning a model. On the ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, click Quarter Section View. Notice the four section view types are available in the drop-down menu. 
The Adjust command displays an in-window tool for modifying and manipulating the appearance of components. On the Ribbon, Tools tab, Material and Appearance panel, click the Adjust command. A mini toolbar appears to provide access to change the color of the components in your model. Use the dropper to grab the appearance style of the upper front component of the stapler. On the mini toolbar, notice that the appearance drop-down displays the appearance override of the component. Use the paint bucket to apply that appearance to the upper back part. In the color wheel above, select a yellow hue, then adjust the brightness in the diamond in the middle. As you drag the crosshair around, the color on the part changes. This tool can also add a new appearance style denoted by the smooth-red 1. Click Apply or OK to apply the color to the selected part. On the Ribbon, View tab, Appearance panel, click the down arrow to expand the panel and display the Component Transparency command. Hover the cursor over Transparency on to expand the tooltip. As you can see, this is actually the Component Transparency command. Component Transparency, when turned on, displays inactive assembly components as transparent during an edit-in-place operation, in effect allowing you to see inside your model. Now, click Transparency on to expand the drop-down. The highlighted selection toggles the transparency on or off. Click the Appearance title bar to collapse the panel. Inventor enables you to change the appearance of your model in a variety of methods. This helps you to get a better understanding of your digital prototype before it is even sent to manufacturing.